Hello everyone. My name is Kinesia. It is an honor to be here with all of us who are still alive and gathered. Gratitude to Sarah and everybody involved in making this event possible. And love to my fellow poets. I will read from my two books. First is Voodoo Hypothesis. Sons of Orion for Alton Sterling, Andrew Locu, Holando Castile, George Floyd, Ahmaud Aubrey, et al. I want to live, son. But which son are you? There, where the rivers are made of moonshine and the lights still wait. Moved by the music of the dealer's bootleg CDs. Have you left the street side, the Rigel stage, for another watery home? What still lingers by blood, the bulk of wound in your ghetto sonata? What bites the freak off by its defiance of bandages? There may never have been an autumn too sacred for this summer solstice. Given the body's exotic architecture, its prostrate before the cosmic rubble, its willingness to cope with joy as it spins, farther out from knowing too much of the bulk, not enough of the blood, the creeping catatonia passing for touch and air, on the studied shade of night, bleached in a sunlit porous concrete. Who were you before? SOS, Saul, and if not the names on this subsolar roll call, do not try to pull or remove your stitches on your own. Whose Saul are you then, son? River, fort, king, whiskey, night, mathematician, sun like mountains turned through co-op effort, black at night, Saul still in declination. How far would you go to make sense of sunburn, to make every candle yearn, make brief light and pray how they taught you, light and pray to this light is yours. Second poems, At the End of the World, for Sandra Bland, Charlena Lyles, Darnisha Harris, Brianna Taylor, Regis Korczynski Paquet, et al. Let fate choose for itself its patterns of proof. I hope some child undivided will wave a code through silence and a balance, unless seduced, heretic, the ways of fireplace and orchestra, kill still, throw the last nutshell in for failure, cast a troll of years remembering itself, pushed through some unpalatable dark side, exhausted, aside from ceasing to be human, I found you on open road. I found you all shredded. If I tell you this makes me sad, who cares for a snake clearing new skin, usually the subject of falling in love, burned from a chained mask, cuffed, bruised, even in the lone shadow of that inland ruin, smiting us the carried song of another monochrome earth, pseudo seasons ambushed in stasis by starlight, splashed on a bleached form of tower from which to leap into nothing and hover. 
calling to be unnamed. If you are not ready to string your haunting touch against the breast of some burning bush, lift no ash to the dirt black smoke across the field for whose sake this scorned race, ancient too, merges with the night, stumbling still, drawn out in the solitude of formulated virtue, one from another for centuries, in the seaward gaze of that slave ship's bell, whose captains hum and take more gold. La vie, c'est un bel voyage. I will read from the dysgraphist. which is my second book. And I will just state that it's a great time for us to remember that we are 500 years deep into compromise and things called reform. The future is abolitionist. Ain't the monstrous always intimate? And before any protest turns it inward, inmate into a vineyard, ain't there a moan digging 1,000 years into the past? As by this interruption, do you accept this collect call, this collect that call, accept the charges. How I, now the daughter, is here forgetting the voice of her father, or whomever the father voiced. Magnum me facit dominus, dwindling away some rubbery word for fire, or a glance back to something sincere. Jejun. All of these words inflate our undivided lives anyway. When I was young, Jejun gave I the rejected things. Example, the breathable air. Example, the clean sea. Example, the plate with just enough. Example, the creolite, any room. Anyway, example, the mononuclear eye was a sea of graces, not peace or surface. I raged, I gathering sound for the mirror. Jejun, eventually, the trees will rush the river. Inevitably, the houses will blot the map through one cynical night. And what else, Dudu darling? Tell me anyway, how you walk all these rivers and is I feeling the shudders of all the caves behind you without forcing the point? Will you tell the hounds that they too are deeply wounded? Are too a song of citizen wrung out to dry in the felt up fields, disunity the blueprint of tanked up roads? or call it a decorative cry. Call it the wind jostling the shutters with news of the circus animals. I among them, the pigs, the hen, the cats, trading our father, his language, languish for the strange freedom of the dog that in its short speech, it keeps its doggedness a small complaint. Slogans in Heimlich maneuver Jejun, all of these words are held to idols newly doomed anyway. And I have been called many things late at night, green or grass, scientific utopia, dream of ancestors. What about rainy weekends? What about poltroons? The doomed cults full of hyper-rational people who've miscalculated the height of doors, 
how many stairs are left, and when stood up from a tumble, find polite applause, find the romance of liberal consumption on the news. Anyway, any sharp thing is a short distance from possible to voluble. Father, what about a foot laid down hard on the gloss of the business suited? The testing birds that remind me I am just as committed to freedom as to expression. Or I would have no reason at all to write you. What folds your ear sideways to my mouth? I to slip into, wondering what we might have become were we not so alive? Thank you all.